Say you design wind energy solutions and you are collecting data for later sharing. Your data flows into your servers and into their databases in whatever model works for you. But you want everyone else to know about this data, to find it, access it, and reuse it. So you want the data to be fair, findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable but without spending all your money entering metadata or building metadata software. What's an easy way to describe your systems, their configurations, and their data for all these different types of users? To find out, the Technical University of Denmark's Department of Wind Energy attended Metadata for Machine workshops hosted by the GoFair Foundation. There, they learned how to build a fair metadata infrastructure using the Cedar Workbench. The Cedar Workbench web service from the Stanford Center for Expanded Data Annotation and Retrieval provides a form builder to create rich metadata templates, a metadata editor to fill out those templates, and a rich API so your system can access Cedar content. With Cedar, Users easily add basic fields and elements to a metadata template that describes datasets. Others can then easily fill out those templates to describe their own datasets. But to make a generic dataset metadata template really fair, the DTU Wind Energy team wanted to add controlled vocabularies with well-defined terms and unique identifiers. So with the Cedar team, they founded the Fair Data Collective to make this whole process easier. Using SCOS Play Convert and GitHub Web Services, the Fair Data Collective built a GitHub-based pipeline that transforms an Excel spreadsheet into a controlled vocabulary based on W3C semantic standards like RDF and SCOS. The DTU Wind Energy team contributed the resulting controlled vocabulary, called the Generic Dataset Metadata Template Vocabulary, to the BioPortal repository. This made it registered and visible to the public, as well as accessible to the Cedar software. Now the team could finish building their template using controlled terms and properties to exactly describe their systems. And those terms could be mapped to any other concepts on the semantic web, providing maximum interoperability for humans and machines. People filling out the generic dataset metadata template don't have to worry about all those precise identifiers because in Cedar they can simply choose the best answer from a drop down menu. And as more terms get added through the pipeline to the controlled vocabularies in BioPortal, Cedar updates its lookups so that users always choose from the latest concepts and identifiers. The resulting metadata can be accessed in JSON LD and the equivalent RDF, or can be shared in Cedar with anyone or everyone. And the metadata can be shared openly on the web as well. Meanwhile, other Cedar users can reuse the generic dataset metadata template as it is to describe their own datasets, or can copy it in Cedar and adapt it to their own purposes. The corresponding controlled vocabulary and all the other pipeline elements are available on GitHub too, in the Fair Data Collective repository. Thank you for your interest in our ready-to-use semantic pipeline. Contact information is at the Fair Data Collective and MetadataCenter.org websites.